so this week is Christmas. I have seasoned up some goat meat here to do like curry goat basically but I'm thinking about switching it up because as I said it's Christmas week so we've got a little vlog style recipe you know I'm thinking to make a curry goat pie of some sort but follow along I'll put the ingredients list in the description below first thing I'm going to do is unwrap this marinated meat look at that all those flavors and then I'm gonna brown it off put it to slow cook all day and then I'm gonna leave it to cool so that we can bake the pie tomorrow I just want this to like to settle and cool down and then we'll make the pie tomorrow so yeah let's get browning off this meat so the first thing that you want to do get a pot get it hot and then add a bit of oil into the base that was probably a little bit too much but yeah just a little bit okay and this part here we call burning the curry and this just makes sure that you cook it properly you don't get an upset stomach and it gives a good colour to the meat and to the whole pot. So what I've been doing here is just burning off the curry powder. So you pour in the curry powder into the oil. This is a bit too much oil, but I'll drain afterwards. And then add the meat, brown the meat, and then yeah, you'll see what this does. But it stops you from having an upset stomach and it gives a really good colour to the curry bit. Okay, now I'm just browning off the meat in the pan. I've got a little bit left here. And then once it's all browned, we're going to leave it to slow cook all day. Well, for about three, four hours on a low heat. I've let the goat meat just kind of sit with the lid on. Heat's on like medium. And I'm going to pour some water in now just enough to cover the meat because this meat is a tough meat yeah it needs the water to be able to get it tender it's gonna cook for a long time you don't want it to dry out and start to burn so don't worry this this will reduce down as the meat cooks so yeah leave this on a low heat now let's turn it down because i want to cook this all day i want for it to be nice and tender and then i'm going to break that meat off of it put it inside of some pastry mm. this is going to be good so yeah check on it in a couple hours and we'll see how it's doing okay guys so it's been a few hours it's been on low the whole time. I've also added a stock cube and a scotch bonnet pepper, but you'll see that now. So we should have, we should have tender meat and we do look at that. I need to drain off some of this oil, but oh, and let me take out this before it pops this. When you put the scotch bonnet in, so I had it in for probably about an hour, if that. Take it out before it kind of like gets more shriveled than this because it could pop and you don't want that. I'm going to do now, I'm going to break off the meat off of the bone and then I'm going to let this mixture thicken up a little bit and then it's going to cool down. Yeah, so I just want to get all the bones out and then yeah we'll be good to go because this is going to be the filling for our pie and i'm going to drain off some of this oil i just wanted to show you guys how the meat is literally falling off of the bone okay so i've removed all the bones i'm going to basically let this cool and then i'm going to drain out the oil and then i'll go from there so i'm going to leave this alone now because that meat is just going to keep breaking apart and i don't want it to break apart too much so that's part one so we'll come back tomorrow and resume with this i don't know what to call it but right now it's a curry goat patty yeah or curry goat pie i don't know pastry and curry goat basically back now i've got the ingredients for my pie crust 
And if you guys only knew the way this has been stressing me, because I thought I had a pie dish that was not so big. And basically, I've narrowed it down to this one and this one. I wanted to also possibly do it in here, but then it's big. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it's pretty high, so and I don't have that much meat. So I don't want it to feel like it's down here. And then, do you know what I mean? The pie crust should be up here. I don't know. I'm still kind of going with it, but let's just go with the vibes right now. The meat is in the fridge still, cooling down. I even made a gravy last night, so here we've got some unsalted butter, plain flour, sugar, salt, turmeric, curry powder and some ice cold water. So I'm going to get straight into it and make this dough. It's very similar to my patty dough, but I'm doing a little freestyle thing here. So yeah, let's go. Okay, and I promise guys I will put the, um, the patty recipe on my YouTube channel yeah there's so there's too many recipes basically that i need to get on the youtube channel but you know bear with me right now i'm recording two pieces of content at once so i'm trying i'm trying something new here so yeah and also you don't have to use gloves but because you basically need the pastry not to get too warm if it gets warm you're not going to get those layers that you want okay so i'm just going to go straight into this i think it's about a cup and a quarter of plain flour okay and then once you've done that you want to add your I think this one is salt yeah this one's salt add your salt sugar as well balances it all out add half a teaspoon of turmeric that's to give it some color and stuff so half a teaspoon of that you want to add half a teaspoon of better pack curry powder I live buy it in basically any curry goat recipe basically and pastry for patties this is what i use we're gonna put half a teaspoon of that in there as well then what you want to do is get a fork and mix all of this up and then once you have done that just add in your cold cubes of butter and this is why the fork comes in handy you basically don't want to handle it with your hands too much but you just want to press you know what i might use a stronger fork also your butter put it in the freezer and then take it out maybe like 30 minutes before basically it needs to stay cold but if you use a fork just to break it down you'll get that flakiness that you want or that we're going for so yeah just press down on those pieces i probably should have taken this out for a bit longer to be honest but it's cool just use your elbow grease and break this up Listen guys, this takes some elbow grease, yeah? When I told you, obviously, you guys got to see there at super speed. But you need some real elbow grease for this. Obviously, if you have a food processor, you'll knock this out in no time. Um, but I don't have one. And you know what's funny? I really want one for Christmas. That's my, on the top of my list, but, you know. This method works just as good, so yeah. But that's what you basically want it to be like, is like a breadcrumb consistency. And then we're just gonna add in a bit of water at a time, not too much, okay? And we're just gonna work this into a dough like this. And having on the gloves will just help to like, right now, this feels really cold. And that's good we want it to <laughs> to stay cold okay so yeah just try and 
not handle it too much to be fair i could have done this with the fork as well i might continue to do it with the fork so i just don't want the heat from my hands to cause it to get warm yeah so yeah i'm going to use the fork just to mix it and then once i've added enough water for it to be into a bowl then we've got our dough simple things are your blessings <laughs> Simple, simple, simple. Not hard at all. That might actually be enough water. Of course, the exact measurements will always be in the description down below. You lot already know the vibes. You lot already know. Honey with the water. You know what? That could have been too much, but who knows? Right now, I'm trying to perfect my pastry recipe, so I'm going with my eyes. So I've got my notebook here and I'm changing it really as I'm going along. So yeah, you guys will get to see this come together like so. So now I'm going to use my hands because now it's starting to get that like sticky texture to it. So I can just start to work it in. And then we're going to let this rest in the fridge. The colour hasn't gone as dark as what I thought it would. Maybe I should have added a bit more, um, what's it called? A bit more turmeric or um, curry powder. How much did I say to put? Half a teaspoon. Hmm. Maybe I should have put a bit more, I don't know. But anyway, let's keep it going. And then yeah, your dough should start to form like this. But as soon as it is literally, the bowl is clean and everything is worked in, we're gonna wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge. Okay, and then this is it. You don't wanna overwork it because you're gonna roll it out. So we're going to wrap this, put it in the fridge for an hour. That gives me time to have lunch and work out what I'm going to do with this pie. But yeah, let's put this to the side or in the fridge and then we'll come back. You know what? It's good to show moments like this because not everything goes to plan all the time. So as you guys just saw, I've made my pastry. It's in the fridge. I've took out my meat out of the fridge just to look at it. And it's fine. Obviously, I need to skim off that fat which was the whole point of letting it cool down. But this isn't a lot of meat. This is a big pan and this is a big pot. So I've got a bit of a dilemma. I'm not trying to make patties. That's the whole thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I could add potatoes and carrots to it to make it like bulked up a little bit. But mm, I don't know what to do. Um okay let me have a think and then you guys will see what i come up with the next step now this is like a gravy that i made yesterday don't watch how it looks it's got the bones of the goat in there and the scotch bonnet all of that just so that i can thicken this up but because i don't want the meat to break apart anymore i'm gonna like layer gravy meat gravy meat and then it will just bake nicely together but for future reference just you know make a little bit of extra gravy in the curry goat when you've cooked it you already know this has been a sporadic very sporadic recipe so yeah just going to remove this fat at the side and then get started then i'm thinking about how i'm gonna do this because i don't want to heat it up i don't want to heat none of it up i'm just gonna like like i said layer it because i don't want it to cook part of the pastry and then the pastry just gets all soggy i want the pastry to be nice and crispy okay so just trust the process i know it looks yeah don't look nice right now but it's gonna look nice in a sec trust me on this okay so i'm gonna leave this yeah i've decided i'm gonna leave it to the side now and prep my pastry okay so i'm just gonna get my pastry now which is very cold which is how we want it as per 
and I've got some flour so I'm just going to dust some flour onto my surface and get a rolling pin ready what I've got I've got some I'm not sure if I'm going to use the lard but I've got lard and some more unsalted butter And then I've got a grater as well. This should help give it a few layers in there whilst I'm rolling it out. It's kind of the same thing. You don't really want to overwork it or over roll it. So just begin to roll out the pastry, turning it as you go. And if you need more flour onto your surface so that it doesn't stick, then by all means do that and also I just remembered I'm not using those big trays anymore I'm going to use this little one now I know it's not very normal to have a square pie but this is what I've got that's going to work so it doesn't actually need to be that big but we just want to make sure that the pastry isn't too thick and then you can even save what pastry you've got left like I think I could cut this in half I'm not going to lie so I think I might do that so let me put that to the side, that can go into the freezer when I want to do this again. And then, yeah, just begin to roll it out. And then, once you've kind of got it into a shape, or just like that, we're going to grater some frozen butter it needs to be frozen look you see how tough that is it needs to be frozen like that butter. and literally doing it frozen is amazing because it's easy to grater it's not as hard as what you think Great, pull that off and then I'm going to do a little bit of lard as well because it, that fat content is going to help it get nice and crispy in the layers which is what we want so and then at this part you just want to fold like that, a few bits here, and then do the same thing. A bit of butter grated right on there, a bit of lard or shortening as it is called as well. Yep, and then fold it again, and now we're going to roll it. Might need a bit more flour. So just roll again and to be fair I don't really know how thick you're supposed to have it I'm just kind of going with the vibes of what I'm feeling but I'm not going to make it too thick because I think if it's too thick then it's not going to be cooked properly and you don't want undercooked pastry dish and it does perfectly so what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold that for now and just rest it there until I'm ready to assemble the pie. Let's get some more light. Ideally, the gravy would already be with the meat, but I decided at the last minute how I was actually going to do this. So let me show you guys. Let me move this. So basically, I made this yesterday. That's why it's gone like this. But it's got all the bones from the goat meat in there. It's got that scotch bonnet, which I need to be careful because if that Oops, it's gonna make this hot I might even take it out now and yeah so all those flavors have kind of infused into it and I've just thickened it up so I'm gonna layer this I'm gonna put like gravy meat gravy meat gravy meat because we just don't want it to be dry and do you know what I mean but next time if you guys make this you could do the same thing but then add the gravy to the meat before and then when it's cooled down all you have to do is put it inside of the dish that you're using and then gravy now, I know you're probably thinking the gravy looks a bit brown it's not really giving curry goat gravy but let's trust the process spoon that in and I think personally this is what I've learned from cooking patties and stuff like that that letting the meat cool down and then cooking it I think it's just gonna yeah 
it just works better. I think if you do it whilst it's hot, then obviously the meat will continue cooking and, you know. But yeah, this is my way of doing it. And then some more meat. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Well, this is kind of a freestyle thing. I've never... Have I made a pie? Not, not with, um homemade pastry before so again this is a new thing that I'm trying so just you know work with me here but I'm just gonna pull pull it over the sides like that if you guys can see here yeah. I'm gonna do this and then I need to think about the next step because to be fair I've been looking at videos of pie styles and stuff like that and i'm thinking shan just freestyle your thing and just do what you want to do yeah see what i'm gonna do i might be able to make a little pattern on it the way around i see that side isn't a straight one but yeah so yeah i feel like i'm trying to make a pattern with this spoon but nothing's happening although i'm gonna keep going and then just trust the process again it's got a little pattern going on it's nothing you know amazing i've got a little bit of pastry here so i'm thinking to make some sort of pattern i don't know what little leaf I'm gonna put that on there for this part make sure you put down flour because you don't want your your little designs to stick yeah that's not it's not too bad it looks quite cute actually okay a circle oh okay 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 So I just made this little there. Oh, this looks nice. This looks nice now. No, let me show you guys now. Because I'm actually very, very proud of this. This is cute. Look at it. Yes, man. Yeah. I feel like I should give it an egg wash because then it's going to look... Yeah, we're going to give it an egg wash. Hey, my love. So basically, it's better to use an egg yolk for that shine. I definitely cannot separate eggs. I'm not that person that can, so pray for me here. I'm really hoping that I can get it. So I just need the... <sighs> Yay guys, I did it. See what happens when you believe in yourself. So I'm just gonna separate the egg whites. Oh gosh, and don't mash up yourself. And put the egg yolk in there. Whisk that up, push it over and then we're going to put it in the oven. pastry sorry forgive me the pastry is sweet 10 out of 10 like this video drop a comment down below see you in the next video